welcome back to the Grand Tour. There are only a couple episodes left of Season 3. However, today is another mini special. This is C2 Unsalty C. A mini special, The Grand Tour, Season 3, Episode 11. Welcome to what is a Grand Tour mini special. It's all based around here in this rather troubled part of the world. You see, if you live on the shores of the Black Sea and you're partial to a bit of fish, uh, you're fine. But what if you like bream? See, bream likes fresh water and the Black Sea is salty. Nearest fresh water is all the way over here in the Caspian. Yeah, so we were wondering, if you have to drive all that way for your supper, what would be the best car? Obviously, mm. you'd need some sort of GT, but which one? The new Aston Martin DBS, the new Bentley Continental GT, or the newer BMW A Series? So, this week, we took the Grand Tour to Batumi in the former Soviet state of Georgia. James has taken the BMW? BMW? How is James not in the Bentley? It doesn't look anything like as good in the flesh as it does in the pictures. It, it is disappointing in the metal. <laughs> I'm afraid that's the case. And brown! What? Brown! It's sunburst orange. Mate, that's a brown car. <laughs> it's sunburst orange, it's not brown. It's brown! So, this is, um, it's a DB11. No, well, no, it's the DBS. Superleggera. Because it's very light, isn't it? Is it? That's what Superleggera means, yeah? It's 72 kilograms lighter than a DB11. And what? no more expensive. Well, it's a bit more expensive. How much more expensive? It's £67,000 more yes. than DB11. And right. how much is it? 225 Yes. Mine's £100,000. It's contemporary and it's modern. There's no good saying, oh, it looks Japanese, as if that's a slur. The no, Japanese no, advanced no, the car bit, massively in the last... Bit. That's an expensive action, boys. We decided to stop arguing and drive from here on the Black Sea right through Georgia and Azerbaijan to the Caspian for a nice piece of grilled bream. All right, big up Baku. The question I really want to answer on this journey is this. How can the DBS be worth £67,000 more than the DB11 when, from where I'm sitting, they appear to be exactly the same? There is no First valid reason whatsoever say, well, than other it than they can. It looks a bit funky now that they say that. The steering wheel's a funny shape. The steering wheel looks like you However, described the steering wheel to someone over a DBS telephone, and they tried to draw it. Oh, shit, shit, shit. All right, speed challenge in this the Aston Martin. This is the most powerful car here, and the light. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know about these, these car choices today. The Bentley, I will be honest, is a little boring. The Aston is just a DB11. And the BMW 8 series just looks like an M4, just a bit fancier. The speed is not going up enough. There. Yes! We're keeping in tune with the all gold medals. Let's go. See, my problem with Bentley is it's just like, it's just a bit boring. Hey, we're back in Colombia. Would you look at that? Yeah, I'm sure it's a great car and all, but I don't know. I feel like it's just a bit boring. I feel like it's too big and heavy to be a proper sports car. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm obviously not Bentley's ideal customer. That's for sure. I'm trying to think, if I was on this drive, what would I have taken? Because you can't take, like, a Lamborghini or anything like that. That's too much. I think the Aston's a good choice, but it is absurdly expensive. I'm not sure. If I press this button here, I can rotate between my different screens. Oh! Analog dials and clocks. All right, that's really, really cool. The problem for me with the Bentley and the Aston is that they're actually a bit too hung up on being British. It is a bit of a British disease. We can't shake it off. We're obsessed with phony heritage and the meaning of tradition, and it's all just nonsense, really. I mean, you say that from a car company. Being BMW, who's produced some very good cars, I feel like it's the same sort of story with the BMW. I feel like it's just a bit boring, really. I don't know, I'm feeling like oh, no. if I was to do this, I would get either a Mercedes AMG GT, not the GTR, because that's too much, you wouldn't want that for a long cruise, or let's get a 911 Turbo. Can't complain with that at all. It I think both of those cars, although definitely worse in terms of Ow. the GT ability of them, I feel like they'd be more fun. You know, maybe? Maybe it's just me. We soon arrived in the town of Gori, the birthplace of Joseph Stalin. Outside, we checked out the statue of Stalin, which that night caused a debate between, well, 
two of us. Right, well, I'm off to bed. What? I'm off to bed. You go to bed? I'm going to bed, I'll see you in the morning. After some more considered debate about the town's Stalin problems, I had an brainwave. Um... The next morning, as we were saddling up, Richard Hammond had a question. Why have you put Nigel Mansell's head on my bonnet? I thought you'd like it. You know, British racing driver, British car, thought it'd be appropriate. It's a bold statement. Isn't Nigel it? Mansell, is it? That's uh, that's that's gonna be definitely the most interesting way I've ever been demonetized. So I'll uh, I'll let you know there's some new merch in the store. Go check it out. Nigel, Mansell. Nigel Mansell's head gets in the way of road signs, and I have to sort of crane round him to see them, and I don't want to miss them. No way, they. No way! <laughs> Look past the dictator, Hammond, you've got a race to win! <laughs> turns out- oh my, oh my god. It turns out the Grand Tour game does have different camera views. Um, you just need a man's head on your bonnet. Get out of my way, BMW man! You're not right, you know that. This is the most wow. stupid- Good. I can't drive! <laughs> James, piss off! What is going on? <laughs> I'm warning you. The first victim has been claimed. All right, definitely getting demonetized today. Oh, that's not good. This is actually very cool. You get a much better sense of speed from this perspective. It's quite cool. Uh, if we could just get past Clarkson, that would be great because I would like to. Hello, mate. Hello. Oh, God. another one bites the dust. So today we've discovered if you need to I win a race, company with James there you go. I've never heard of this place in my life. Built in the days of communism, it hosted some terrible and boring races until the Soviet Union and it fell apart. It does look very good, this place. That acid does look really good. 715 horsepower is a huge amount. That is a cathedral of power. Oh no. With the traction control off. Here it comes. Here comes the drift challenge. The classic. All right, drift 850 yards around a track I've never even heard of before. Just gonna try to, oh, it's very oh. narrow. It's very narrow, this circuit. Uh, 850 yards, I meant meters, sorry. Oh, Forgot no. about the whole freedom units thing. I guess I didn't realize just how insanely fast this thing is with 715 horsepower that is that is insane Drive carefully. aston martin drivers do not need 700 horsepower for the james bond wannabe who's gonna buy oh, this God. thing oh this is a good way to Thank get drift so score much. oh that worked out quite nicely i'm gonna get over a thousand look at that a thousand meters drift here we'll get a little more there you go I'm too good at this. A thousand one hundred meters. We're all gold still. I have a feeling this car is insanely quick. Uh, Richard Hammond driving around in Chatsworth House here. Please tell me I don't Thank need to you. drift this. All right, we'll take the Bentley because it's a big boy Bentley, and you gotta win. You gotta beat Clarkson. All right, at least I know where I'm going now. Wait, do I still? I don't have the head on, Eddie. Oh no. Should probably not look at the head while I'm trying to take a corner sideways. No, that Aston Martin, I don't know. It's definitely growing on me. I didn't know it was that fast. I'm sure it's not super race car feeling to drive, but I feel like it would actually be a pretty good car for an everyday sort of thing. Like my GTR, for example, had 550, and then I tuned it to what I would say around 600, and that was a lot. 700 would be insane. Oh, we've got to get the fizz meter. Yeah, here we go, James. Yeah, I will say I've driven a couple of BMW M4s before, and they are insane to drive. They are so well put together, so planted. Awesome cars. And I would imagine that this thing is an even better version of an M4. We need to get James to completion. Come on! There we go. Yeah, yeah we got him! James oh, is fizzing! Clever. There we go! Yes. He's a happy boy now. Alright, well, 
Well played, BMW 8 Series. It's a BMW. It feels like a BMW. That's exactly what I'm saying. In fact, that while going past the pits, I noticed something. There's a bloke with a stopwatch there. Does that mean they're actually taking time? I presume it does. They were, so all of us decided to concentrate on some hot laps. OK, Sin. Eventually, we pitted to see how we'd done. No surprises here. Come on. Aston was the fastest. Oh, no, but obviously, Fair by enough. an enormous margin. Now, you did 205.8. Yes. yes. Richard Hammond. Yes. Two minutes. Yes. Four. Ooh! Eight. So you're only a second quicker. Oh. That's the closest you two have yeah. ever been. That is, that is. Oh, well, Oh, seeing how fast you can go in your cars on a flying lap. Yes. Now we shall see how fast you can go when you're bursting for a pee. What? Really? Well, each of you will drink three pints of water, wait 20 minutes, and then see how much your times improve. <laughs> what a brilliant challenge. If somebody takes a leak in their car, that's not good. This would be the most painful challenge they've probably oh, nice. ever done. Oh, nice lighting in here, lads. All right, 124 is the time to beat in... Oh, that's a quarter cut. In the BMW 8 Series. Nick, do you remember the old 8 Series? What a classic. Yes, with the pop-ups. Classic pop-ups in a V12 back in the day. What did they say? This is a V8 twin turbo. All right, come on, May. Come on, May. We've got to keep it all gold. Get to the line. Oh, it's going to be close. Ah. 122. Interfering. We're all gold, though. Would you look at that? How's Break, Hamster doing? Breaking, breaking hard. Oh, it's, it's worse going through the corners because it all sloshes to one side. It's the slosh meter. What the? We need Come five on. sloshes. Wait, There's no, no, not in any water. I love this Get game. Wait. Oh, oh, they want me to be smooth. Oh, 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 I thought, I thought they wanted a lot of sloshes. All right, if I get less than five sloshes, we get a gold. All right, I need to be very gentle. Very gentle. That thing at the... You're going to burn for that. That thing at the top looks... I don't like it. Bollocks! Very sensitive. This is a stupid challenge. I can't oh. go around corners. I'm already at four. Oh, come and on. five. Get off. Six. I'm not getting all gold today. This challenge has single-handedly ruined come on. all gold. No, Fuck it. Can. I'm just going. Go slow around oh, the corners. Don't. Yeah, but going slow, I could just drive around at one mile an hour, but that wouldn't be fun. Okay. Well, here's what I've seen. Uh, I've made an executive decision. Turns out, that challenge doesn't count. So, um, we didn't actually get a bronze there. Out of 14 challenges. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. What? Who's in there? James! I'm having a bugger off, I'm having a waz. Hurry up! I'm having a waz. Just hurry up, I'm going to go in a minute! It's just awful. Oh, when you... Listen, mate, James is in there, and I'm first. You ain't getting in ahead of me. I solved the problem, second corner. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. James. I'm having a waz. You say, no, I've got the times. It's quite interesting. You were a second slower well, on that lap. I'm desperate for a slash. Do you think you were faster or slower? I don't care. Richard Hammond. <laughs> your original lap, two minutes, 4.8. Oh. Okay. Your new lap. Stop talking. Two minutes. Yes, whatever. Zero point five. You were slower as well. I was concentrating on ten out of ten. And decided to test the boot space in our Grand Tourers by picking up a few souvenirs. There we go. There's gonna be another head. Oh, yikes. So you've got two giant norks. Yep. Uh, a guitar and a clock. And I'm very pleased with the purchases. What's with the <laughs> trombone or whatever it is? Well, it won't fit. With my record player and my bird and my gas mask. That's a striking look. piece. We'll put it on the back seat. Small. Look on the, the, the back seat will accommodate that. Look. It's going to be critical. Oh my god. There you go. Told you you would. Do Aston Martin describe that as a back seat? Yes. I wouldn't call it a leather pouch. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I doing? What?
I don't know which way anything goes. Am I done? Which way? Oh. This is not what I was expecting to be doing today. Things I totally did not expect to be doing. That. All right, what do I need to do? We're, we're back on the road. We're driving. It's actually a car game. Got it. We are going DBS. All right. Simple, casual race up to first. And that's it. Yeah, this is this is definitely my favorite car of the three. It's just like, it's got a really good mix of sporty as well as something you could actually drive about in. How fast can this Aston Martin actually go in real life? We were doing like 180 there. Not anymore. But with 700 horsepower, it's gotta be, it's gotta be 200 miles an hour. All right, Aston Martin, you have done very well. Look at that bridge over there. Looks awesome. It does 211 time, miles an hour. You do know that these aren't actually quicker than any other type of car. What? No, in the real world. I mean, these feel great. That's why we like them. It's nice having a powerful car, etc. But in the real world, they don't go any faster or slower than any other type they of car. They go faster. They, go they faster. don't. I'll demonstrate it to you tomorrow. Tomorrow after. <laughs> Thanks for writing it on the screen three times. And I've flown Abby out to drive it. We're going to drive 50 miles to a place called the Garden of Paradise. What? So Abby gets a two minute head start. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to catch her. Oh, well. You won't. Oh, oh, well, oh, oh, well. oh, we're in trouble now. Right, you ready? It's like oh. a kitten. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> Professional racing yeah, driver. Said she's good. She's good. You bought a dog. It doesn't it work. There you go. Oh. All right. This is actually a very good seconds. challenge because I've thought of this Stop for a very long time. So what's this going to be? Any three car? Oh, no, back in the Aston. And it's another race. All right. Here we go. We'll see how we can do. Maybe we'll see Abby in a bit. That'd be cool. Oh, look at that bridge. Oh, I like this. Made. Let me switch. I want to go. Oh, Ow. for God's sake, Hang mate. Oh. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, At least I got on this side. All right. Ultimate Air 200 XP. Yeah, I've ruined this Aston in this race. Just trying to smash into everything. Abby's in front. I saw the. I saw the. I saw it! The finish line at the Garden of Paradise was close. And as we entered the outskirts, the patio of Paradise, Abby was in sight. The race we knew would be ours, but then it turned out that actually the finish line was in the 14th century. <laughs> nope, you do not take an Aston there. The VM and the very Bentley. Narrow, very narrow. Yeah. Eventually, Hammond and I found Abby's victorious Renault at the finish line. Um, it's been crashed. What was With James's unrealistic real-world test out of the way, we continued heading east. Yo, Jesus, look at this road. Wait, this is the same road we were just on. It's just going the other way. <laughs> All right, another race. Oh, no, they've got the special powery things. No, 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 no. Mate, mate, turn! Please turn the corner. Thank you. Okay, oh, oh, this oh. is the longest crash in history. Oh, this is almost a three-way crash. Oh, this is just how I'm gonna live my you. life now. Oh, just attached to James May at the door. Oh, yes. There you go. It's a brilliant way of racing this. All right, gaining, get. No. All right, I didn't need to do very much. Oh, and then, oh my god! Finally, getting it to go. Whew. First place. To be a good We've done pretty well, other than the puzzle and the slosh. Power, style, make for just a good car of any sort. And this new Bentley Continental GT is a very, very, very good GT car. So, my BMW. Now, when we started this trip, I nearly thought it was rather good. But now... I'm pretty much in love with it, and most of that, to be honest, is because of that V8 engine. Final challenge in the BM. Hurry it up. Let's go. 35 seconds. We need the speed. I think we're in California. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how fast this is in real life, but there we go. Ooh, like nice carbon fiber around the exhaust there. We did it. Heavy shoe. Brilliant. One hurry it up in the BMW 8. Or M850i. It's a silly name for a car. 
Oh, I got another one. Born to Drive. Complete season three, episode 11. Then there's the DBS, and that is tricky. It is as fast as hell, and it's comfortable, and it looks sensational. Is it worth £70,000 more than the also hugely appealing DB11? No way. No way. I just don't think it is. After a stunning drive through the tip of the Caucasus, we eventually arrived in the jaw-dropping capital of Azerbaijan. That is a hella cool place. A breed's fish? No, Hammond, they're cows. Of course they're fish. I don't like fish. Well, on that terrible disappointment... For him. Mm, back to the tent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say back to the tent, you idiot? Um... Oh, right, um... Well, I've got biscuit. <laughs> do that. But I still think the Bentley was the best. It mm. was the best. Well, I agree. What? I agree. Look, I really like the DBS, OK? It was a fantastic car. I like the DB11 as well, and the Vantage. But for doing that journey, I'd choose the Bentley. Now, wait a minute. Haven't you just recommended the Aston Martin DBS to a friend of yours? Yes, I have. <laughs> and has he since bought one? Yes, he has. <laughs> Terrible disappointment for him. It's time to end. Thank you so much for Classic. Watching. Goodbye. Classic. Oh, boys, what an episode today. I don't know why they called that a mini special. That was just a full on special. That was the GT special. The GT Challenge Special. Anyways, boys, as per usual, we will be back next week. We've got three more weeks of the Grand Tour. Should be damn good. I'm very excited to see what these guys get up to.